Which green, please? The last one. Oh. You woke me from a dream, now here's reality. Baby, baby, you are really hurting me. Sara is a video. The name of the area. Verdun. Verdun. Is it French? Yes. Mm -hmm. Guys, we're currently walking to the ABC mall because it's not too far from the restaurant that we're at. Show, show. Or it's just, it's just there. It will call the police. <laughs> yeah, pointing. This is Assad. Okay, what this is there? This is the famous people salon. Yeah. Okay. And urban. Hi guys, we just came out of the upper cave. Unfortunately, cameras and phones were not allowed. But we're going into the it lower was really one. Nice. Very beautiful, very, very, very beautiful. Hopefully, we get to film in the lower cave. That one is more of a boat ride because it's a cave with an under, you know, water tunnel. So pretty. So cute. So hopefully, if we can film, I'll show you guys that. If we can't, then. Check it out on Instagram. <laughs> I like the sound here. Yeah. You guys, we're going into the room one. Wish us luck. Okay, I think it looks like we leave our phones here. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, the noise. It's more of a market center. Is this place with a lot of shops 
and restaurants so pretty so cute has a lot of plants and very interesting architecture as well guys there are lots of cute spots over here apparently their things are super super expensive so i for one i'm not trying to buy nothing i'm not trying to buy nothing but i'm having a good time being here just looking around it's so beautiful but lots of people i already went on the boat ride at Rauche, so i didn't feel like doing that here and it's not as intimate as the one we did at the Rauche Road because this one is a big boat and it can take a lot of people. I see, we're so tired. So Life of a tourist is not easy. guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is Mimi and I do hope you enjoyed today's video if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and join the family if you are already a part of the family hey boo what's up you know how we do right here on this channel guys you're welcome to another vlog listen it's that time of the month and I'm really going through it guys so forgive me if my energy levels are a bit low but if you don't notice then that's fine too we're starting out with laundry today I'm taking the laundry downstairs to get it cleaned and then we'll come back up for, of course, trash. Guys, I'm having some pear, peach, and plum. I think that's the English name for pork plum. I think I'll leave it on the screen. So delicious. One thing you have a lot of when you're in Lebanon is fruits and vegetables. Their meals really consist of that. Like they're really heavy on vegetables and fruits. and coffee. Mm. Is anyone crazy about the Burna Boy album? I'm a Burna Boy fan, so I'm always going to be biased. I love everything he puts out. So good. When somebody dies, mm. what do you say? The funeral? After the funeral, yeah. that you are doing money, money, like 
I'm stomping. I am. It's monitoring. What is it? <laughs> 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 no, let's let him eat it. Cuts, cuts. <laughs> now, anyhow, you understand it. Three, two, one, action, Alim. We start on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hi guys what's good yeah <clears throat> you can say that it's just like the one you said that in christmas you can do that one okay so okay okay no problem say it. <laughs> <laughs> hi guys what's good elia i was going through so much pain i was having s severe cramps it wasn't even funny but i'm better now that's that's the that's the thing about my time of the month the first few hours are very agonizing and then later in the day i get better so i'm better now my sister and i are going for this event called no problem say it in arabic what's the thing we're going for right now the one eh, we're going we're going for what she just said it's, theater. it's like theater art you know how when it's christmas we have like christmas carols where they come and act the mary joseph Bethin of you know Jesus Christ. I think it's something like that, mm. but in the <clears throat> Islamic world. So we're going for that type of event. Won't you tell them more about it? Like what what is it about? In our in our religion. <laughs> no, it's fine. Her first language is Arabic, so pardon her English, but she speaks very good English, so I'm sure you understand him. Guys, understand you, look right? at me. <laughs> They'll look at you. <laughs> They're looking at you. And why are we holding freaking dolls? Me, I like my. This one is mine. <laughs> Hold it. Okay, okay. See, in Islam, there is something called Ashura. We believe it's like a prophet. The grandson of the prophet died, Imam Hussein. So we are going to watch the theater about how he died. Like what happened to him and to his family after the death see you're doing very well now even i understand the first time she didn't explain it that way but now i get it guys i hope you get it i don't know if we're allowed to film but when we get there and we're allowed to we're allowed to yes you are okay so i will try and get snippets so that you guys will enjoy but it's the very show long and get so to we know. can't no not everything show yeah just snippets like that's what snippets is that means snippets, mm, snippets okay means tell me that this one is the meaning <laughs> bits and pieces okay all right guys so yeah we will get bits and pieces for you guys to see so you fully grabs what's going on or where we're going now the thing is you have to wear all black that's why earlier on i was wearing um, i said wearing earlier on i was ironing <clears throat> what's going on with my english alien that's why earlier on i was ironing these clothes all black and my sister is saying she doesn't want me to cover up like hair but the thing because see like <clears throat> when you cover your neck Everybody will think that she she's wearing. It doesn't matter, one. but I want the full experience, so mm. I want to cover my neck. Okay, I want to do the whole night yet. I want to do that, and then tomorrow we go back to being regular, regular, shagola, shagola, Mimi. Okay guys, so now moments of truth. We're going to try the two options and then we'll see what I want to go with. If I like the one that's all covered up, I will go with the one that's all covered up. Per. Period. So we'll start with that one. Hmm? How does this look? Are we feeling this or not? No, no. Okay guys, so this is option one. Heck. Or... Or this one. But then again, I think I need to lay my edges. Okay, guys, there's this. And I'll put my bra on. Are you done dressing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I look extremely funny. <laughs> Alright, guys, so this is I. And then. This one goes over it like so. Aline, did you do your own like this? Yes, I think I'm wearing the one you wear. Putting the first, the first option side by side. 
And guys, we have this. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. Okay, so the first one, my neck was all covered. This time, it's just this. And apparently, if I go like this, it will show or it will mean that I'm not like a, you know, full hijabi. But if I cover my neck, everyone is going to think that I'm a hijabi. What do you think? Alright guys, so I think I'm going to settle on this one. I like this one. Do you guys like this better? I think I like this better. <laughs> Thank you, you're looking beautiful. I look beautiful. Thank you. How do I look? I don't know. But yeah, I'm all ready for... What's the name of the thing again? Masrahiyya. Masrahiyya. We're going for Masrahiyya. <laughs> I just finished taking a shower, I washed my hair, and I'm going to... <laughs> I look ridiculous. I am going to attempt some mini twist. I've been seeing it around. It looks like the girlies are really into mini twist now, so... I'm going to attempt to do that on my hair and we'll see how it goes. Should I close my eyes and let her again? Hold you tight, call you mine, think about you every time. I remember that it's over. Yeah. You never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark. So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind. Think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. Can't stop. Yeah, yeah. You never lose. Alright, guys, I'm done with the first part. This is how I was looking. My friends just came in, so I need to go sit with them because if I say I want to finish before I hang out with the girls, that's going to take a minute, so. I think I'm just going to end right here and continue later. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to another vlog. Guys, I'm all done with my hair. This is how we're looking. So cute. Managed to, you know, style it a bit. It's looking really good. Guys, shrinkage is real. Anywho, love it, love it, love it. I don't know which of the products I used that left me with a bit of, you know, residue. I don't know, but aside that, it looks good. I'm not complaining this is how it looks up close love it it's currently 1 p.m i'm going to find something to eat i have to carry you guys and the tripod all together and um, they made rice and fasoli simply put this like beans stew bean soup it's really really good and so yeah and that's what we're having for lunch but technically that is my first meal of the day because it's me finally it's focused on me guys this is iran it's from fresh natural milk I will say it's fresh yogurt juice that's what I'll call it it has natural pasteurized full fat fresh cow milk pasteurized water 1% salt and lactic culture that's why I love me some yogurt so I'm gonna pour me a cup 
I drink that much. I really love it. So good. Hi my loves, I just came back from the salon. I went to get my eyebrows shaped, got rid of the hairs in my nose, plucked my chin hairs, looking really cute. I went to a hijabi salon, so I didn't even bother to take my camera because obviously I wouldn't have been able to film because it's against the rules of the hijabi community, you know, so yeah i just didn't but this is how my brow be looking i think she really did a good job it looks so cute i like it really like it and i think i can breathe properly now before even when i smile and you're close to me you can literally see my nose hairs coming out i was so embarrassed <laughs> but i'm glad that is done now Guys, I'm bringing this vlog to an end, but before we say our goodbyes, I wanted us to chit chat a bit about reds and period pains and how to manage them naturally and also share my experience with you guys. So for me, when is that time of the month? I usually cram for the first few hours at most a day and i'm thankful that it's just a day or a few hours because i know some people have it very very bad now these are some of the things that help me okay before i get into the tips so i've also noticed something about me that depending on the time that my flow starts especially if it's in the morning i don't know if the fact that i'm not a breakfast person triggers this i don't know if is it getting dark in here i think this is better but if it comes in the morning i don't know if because the flow starts on an empty stomach it makes me very nauseous and then i throw up i can throw up for i can throw up like three times before i start feeling better especially when it comes in the morning now i was reading about this and the information i got was that there's this hormone called prostaglutin i don't know if i'm saying this right but i'll leave it on the screen apparently when is that time of the month your body produces a lot of this hormone so depending on how much your body is producing it leads to that nauseous effect and then you can throw up i'm not saying i throw up every single month but out of 12 months in a year, I this thing can happen to me about twice or thrice a year, which is not too bad. Like I said, depending on the time that my flow starts, and usually if it's in the morning, it happens to me. So I, I like to think that maybe because it happens on an empty stomach, that's why I experience this. So that's just by the way. So if you're like me, then I'm hoping that these tips will help you as well because it sure does help me guys i'm releasing my efforts here so prior to my period like a week to my period or two weeks to my period i try to avoid sugar because i have read this a lot and even some people say that if you consume too much sugar then you're going to have like really bad cramps so i try to avoid sugar altogether on a normal day i'm not really someone who likes taking in too much sugar but during that time especially a week to my period i try to avoid it altogether and also i try to eat relatively healthy to help with the flow to help with the cramps the third thing i like to do is on the day of my period as soon as i spot miss red i just go to the gym or i just exercise it also helps me a ton with 
the cramps and sometimes when I exercise I don't even feel cramps at all I don't go through no pain nothing now my last and final tip now this is my holy grail this is my lifesaver I've never been the type to take any pain meds for cramps or the pain because I have always told myself that this is something I'm going to be experiencing for a very long time so 12 months in a year if I say I'm always going to take something for the pain then that's a lifetime of being on pain meds and I didn't want that I just told myself I'm just going to let my body do its thing you know my body's going to do what my body's going to do what it needs to do I just allow myself to go through it but this is a lifesaver so as soon as I spot my period I take a very hot shower when I say hot shower guys I mean hot shower but don't let the water be too hot to the point where you're hurting yourself or you're burning yourself literally but it has to be hot i'm not talking lukewarm or warm water no it has to be hot so sometimes when i have access to a shower that has or runs hot water then even better i would just be under the shower and let the hot water hit my lower belly for as long as i need sometimes i can be in there for like 30 minutes just going through this holistic ritual and then i feel better if i don't have access to hot water in the shower then i do it manually i just get my bucket or a bowl bowl water pour it in there grab me a towel and then i will put that towel on my lower belly and let the heat do its thing and it helps me a ton so you can try it out so these are just a few tips that help me during that time of the month i'm sure it can help you too it's getting really dark and i don't like that <laughs> yeah guys so if any of you have some tips and tricks that you use during that time of the month please leave it down in the comment section below let's learn from one another i'll be really happy to read some of your tips so that i can also apply it if i'm not already doing that thank you guys so much for watching today's video don't forget to like comment i love hearing from you guys subscribe to the channel let's get this video to say 300 likes it helps your girl if you guys like the video it tells youtube that you're enjoying the content and it helps youtube push my video to a larger audience and then people discover your girl's channel and then we grow see how it works so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye.